Father, help me to be in frame. Oh, help me to be in frame. Okay, guys, today let's start. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. Hope you're doing great. Fantastic. And hope this video meets you well, guys. It's another new day. It's another new week where we can do the best things that can ever happen to us. So, guys, in today's video, I want to talk about something a video I saw online. So um, I will just highlight some snippets of the video that I watched and um, I'm not trying to, you know, I just want to give this disclaimer out there. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to somebody. I'm just trying to give my point of view, you know, the way I see things and all whatnot. Okay. So um, I'm not going to call the person's name. I'm just going to do a reaction video to that video. So um, guys, so there's this video that I watched, I think it was on Facebook or someone had, you know, sent it to me on WhatsApp. Or something but it's from Facebook the video was sent to you know my whatsapp but it's from Facebook so I actually still went to, on Facebook and I saw this video It's actually trending there's this popular uh, great man of God uh, you know I respect the grace of God upon his life and all those good things so he's based in Nigeria and he made a video saying that if you are a woman and uh, like if you're a Christian woman and men of the world like men that are not Christians ask you out or want to marry you then you have a problem with that so um this got me thinking and um this man of god by the grace of god he has so many people you know that are answerable to him he has like a very huge congregation and i saw a lot of people applauding him greeting like oh my gosh he's so great and all whatnot so this got me thinking and this is not an all or nothing law but i want to you know say this convey my own message from my point of view and also from like christ-like point of view and also the way we women look at things sometimes so this you know it's like this so when he said that people were happy people were clapping and all of that some people approve that message however i'm here to say it this way as a woman you don't pick and choose who will ask you out or who would like to marry you so now i want to you know do like a check and balance on this he, what he said if you are a woman and maybe just men that are not christians ask you out get what i'm saying if you are a christian woman and men and women sorry and men rather that are not christians only ask you out then there is a problem however as a christian woman you can never pick and choose who is going to ask you out because you or who would like to marry you the problem should only emanate from yes did you approve that message did you accept that man then there should be a problem with that what am i saying you know as a woman you cannot pick and choose who is going to ask you out tall men will ask you out short men will ask you out dark light-skinned men will ask you out all kinds of men will ask you out poor rich men will ask you out all kinds of nationality men will ask you out when i say poor men and rich men i don't necessarily mean money men that are poor like intellectually will ask you out the ones that have something up there will ask you out even people that have money or they don't have they'll ask you out you won't say oh because i'm this and so so i, I would do this give an example you can even be a queen or a princess or whatever men will come and the, all kinds of men will ask you out they'll say oh or they will love you and or they'll, i don't want to use the word love i say i, I think i want to say they'll be infatuated by you and they'll still ask you out so why am i saying all of this you can't speak and choose who is going to ask you out you know i want us to go maybe real quick i know this is not like a preaching but back to the bible there was a bible verse that talks about the parable of the virgins there were 10 virgins all these women were virgins and then five of them were wise and five of them were foolish so now it comes so at the end of the day this parable goes to say some women were ready for jesus when he came and then the other five were not ready so the issue is as a woman you have to prepare yourself for your husband when he comes you should be ready for him it's not about who asked you those men will ask you out it does not mean that they are your husband they will come and ask you out and say oh i want to marry you i'm interested in you and all whatnot they are not your husband the thing is in all of them who did you say yes to most lebs will even ask you out buddhists 
they may love you oh i'm interested in you they may just see you for the first time they'll ask you oh can i have your number can i do this it's up to you to say no and also as a woman how are you dressing are you just dressing to attract those kind of people those are the kind of pointers you know that you can you can prove you can you know throw out there are you just dressing to call any kind of man because there are some men it doesn't matter how you dress there are some men you can cover your neck right up to like your whole body and only your eyes are showing if they are interested in you they'll still ask you out or they'll still want to marry you there are some however you can dress half naked they won't even be attracted to that everybody has what they like some men may be attracted to you like oh i love her figure or i love when she wears, wears short clothes some men are turned off by women who put on very short clothes others when you wear long clothes that's even what you know of like this magazine kind of outfit and stuff like that that is even what attracts those kind of men to you why am i saying all of this all these things if you are a woman dressing seductively because you want to attract a man that is the problem because you only attract the very wrong kind of people I don't know if I'm making sense. So as a woman, you will never. So maybe if you watch that video and you're like, oh my gosh, I think I'm not worthy enough. The kind of men that ask me out are only so, so, and so kind of people. Listen, before the original thing, there's always going to be a fake or a counterfeit that is going to come. So you can be in a season where maybe the kind of men that are asking you out are not the kind of ones that you like. Maybe it's just a season to test you. And then the real one is going to come. A good example is Naomi in the Bible and Ruth. When she lost her husband, she followed her mother-in-law. And at the end of the day, what happened to her? She, find, she finally found somebody. But for her to have met Boaz, she needed to have been married to have her mother-in-law who would take her to a different, uh, you know, like a different country or a different city or a different place where she knew nobody. And she fi finally met somebody. Why am I saying this? Don't think that maybe you're not good enough. Oh, maybe this kind of men ask me out. Oh, maybe this kind of ones ask me out. No, it's a time for you to reevaluate yourself. Are you the one bringing them? Are you dressing or are you the one throwing, should I say, things to them like pointers or red flags? Should I say, no, no, I don't want to use the word red flags. Or should we say, oh, are you the one making them come? Are you the one attracting them like that? Maybe the way you dress, where you are, the places you go to. Because if you go to a club and you know that's where you spend all your time, you definitely attract someone who loves to go there. So when you marry them, don't expect them not to go there. So if, if you dress half naked and you attract that kind of a man who likes you because you, you dress half naked, it therefore means that when another lady comes who also dress way naked than yourself, that man is going to follow them. So why am I saying all of this? You are not dressing to attract those kind of people. Naturally, they come to you. So let me give an example. Like the Queen of England or the Queen of England, for example, when she was younger, don't you think that maybe different men, not necessarily royal people, you know, they, maybe they had wanted to marry her and all those kind of stuff. If they had their way, if they had access to her, they would have asked her out and said, hey, can I marry you? Can I have your hand in marriage? But definitely she didn't, she didn't marry just anybody. She married a royal personality. Why am I saying this? All kinds of men will come to you. All types of men will come to you. Now, as a queen that you are, it's up to you to decide who you want to be in your life. Remember, I always say this, that you are a queen, you are beautiful, you are amazing. It's up to you as a beautiful woman, as a queen to say, you know what? Yeah, let me go and marry a slave, in quotes, or let me marry a royalty. When I talk about this, it's not like I'm trying to trash talk people. I'm just talking about like if abusive men always come to you, are you still going to be with that abusive person simply because you want a man? Definitely not. You want to build yourself up and be with someone who is going to value you, who is going to treat you like a queen that you are and all those kind of things, guys. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe so that when I upload a video, you will not miss anything. You will definitely get all the notifications, guys. Remember, it's plenty of love from what to you remember that you're beautiful and that you watching me you're the beauty of Christ